Oh, it's important. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to our planning public hearing, sorry, public planning hearing for Monday, January 23rd, 2023. We have six files this evening, MJ Developments, Statlander, Landry and Menard, Woodcove and Parker, Scarlet Ridge Enterprises and Max Cut Manufacturing in that order. I'll call this meeting to order. And I'll ask if there's any declaration of pecuniary interest. Okay, members of the public, you can see we only have three members of council here today. The rest, um, actually, the, the mayor also is at um, a conference and they may be joining us, but may not be. Mayor McQueen, did you want to? Yeah, I do have uh, a conflict with the uh, file with regards to Stathlander. Oh, yes, yes. Sorry. Okay. Thank you for mentioning that. Okay. This public meeting was called under Section 34 of the Planning Act, RSO 1990, as amended, concerning six proposed zoning bylaw amendments to bylaw 2004 50. Any person or public body is entitled to attend the public meeting and make written or oral submissions in support of or in opposition to any of the proposed amendments. Written comments should be submitted to the planning department. If a person or public body does not make oral submissions at a public meeting or make written submissions to the municipality of Grey Highlands before the zoning bylaw is passed or denied, the person or public body is not entitled to appeal the decision of council of the municipality of Grey Highlands to the Ontario Land Tribunal. And in addition, they may not be added as a party to the hearing of an appeal before the tribunal, unless in the opinion of the tribunal, there are reasonable grounds to do so. It is important to note that if you wish to be mailed a notice of the passage of the bylaw and or notice of decision, and you do not live within 120 meters of the subject property, you must provide your request in writing to the planning department of the municipality of Grey Highlands. Registering for this virtual meeting does not represent your written request. A guideline sheet is available upon request. Our first zoning bylaw amendment is file Z43-2022. The registered owner is MJ Development Incorporated. And the location is the east half lot seven, concession eight, Euphrasia and Gray Highlands. And there is no civic address assigned, but the roll number is 4208-390-0090-8300. The notice of this public meeting was mailed by standard mail on December 14th, 2022 to the property owner and to all property owners within 120 meters of the subject property in addition to all agencies and persons identified in the Planning Act. At this time, we will hear a presentation by the applicant or their agent. I believe Ron Davidson is the agent for this file. We'll just wait till he's moved over. There we go. Good evening, Ron. Good evening, Mr. Chair. How are you tonight? I'm fine. Good, thank you. Um, so yeah, uh, my name is Ron Davidson. I'm a planning consultant working on this file. Um, it's a, I say this quite often, it truly is a, a relatively straightforward matter. Two weeks ago, the Municipalities Committee of Adjustment granted consent or otherwise approved the severance of this property. It essentially uh, severed the lot into two equal parcels, although one's a little bit bigger than the other. Um, the, the one is, 19.3 hectares in size. That would be the west portion shown on your screen. Um, whereas the zoning bylaw requires uh, a, a 
a minimum lot area of, of 20 hectares. So we need relief from uh, that minimum lot area requirement. That was imposed as a condition of consent by the Committee of Adjustment, again, two weeks ago. And uh, that relief is being, will be provided by a zoning bylaw amendment if council supports it. And that's why we're here tonight. So the proposed zoning bylaw amendment in front of council would change again, the minimum lot area requirement from 20 hectares down to 19.3. Um, you know, the consent application itself uh, was considered to uh, be in conformity with the county official plan, the local official plan, and, and consistent with the provincial policy statement. It also complies with uh, section uh, 5124 of the Planning Act, which I don't really think I need to get into. Um, and anyway, as a condition of consent, the zoning bylaw amendment uh, must be approved in order to get the deed stamped. Uh, it makes a lot of sense. There's obviously, I think it's fair to say obviously, there's obviously no downside in reducing the lot area requirement from, from uh, uh, 50 down to 19.3. Uh, if there wasn't that little jog on the west side of the property that you can see, the property would have exceeded the 50 uh, or the 20 hectare or 50 acre minimum lot area requirement. But there is a jog in the property and that made the lot a little bit smaller. So from a planning perspective, I think it makes good, good planning sense. There's no downside. Um, and what ultimately what it will do, it will allow the owner, uh, Mr. Jensen, to sell the west side. Oh, he could sell the east side as well, but there is a young couple that have uh, have said they would like to purchase the west side and build a house. And so just as soon as this consent can be finalized, apparently they will be buying, buying the property and uh, building a house. Mr. Chair, that's it for my presentation. Thank you. Okay, thank you. We will now have the municipal planner advise of any comments received and will provide an overview of the purpose and effect of the bylaw. Planner Rapke, please. Thank you, Chair. Yeah, in terms of the scope of the amendment, Ron, I already went over it, but uh, the zoning is pretty much staying like the, the rural zone staying the same, just applying a site specific exception to recognize the marginally undersized lot of 19 hectares for a minimum lot area. Um, while we're at it, I'm going to apply a site-specific provision noting that MDS is to be calculated for any new dwelling in line with our lot creation policy or updated policy. The zoning bylaw as it stands today uh, exempts existing lots of record for, from requiring MDS for a new house. For the building department to interpret that policy is a bit tricky when you when you see a lot that already exists, you assume it's already existing on the date of passing of the bylaw, so to clarify putting that into the site-specific wording to make sure that MDS is calculated at the time of permit submission, especially because one of the arcs from the nearby uh, barns encroaches into the lot. So that just makes sure the building gets located outside of there. In terms of comments received, nothing beyond what was provided at the consent stage that committee seen. Uh, the county noted provided MDS setbacks are met and positive comments are received from the Conservation Authority regarding hazard lands and uh, natural heritage features. They got no concerns. And Grace Owl Conservation noted no objections to the proposal. All of our internal departments commented with no concerns. That's the extent of everything we received. Okay, thank you. Are there any questions or comments from members of council for either our planner or the agent? Okay, I'm not seeing anything. Any person present who would like to make a submission in support of or opposition to this application or have any questions or comments about this application, please indicate and state your name and address. And so if there's anybody um, wishing to speak from the public, uh, if you're on a phone, you can um, dial star nine. And if you're on a computer, you can use the raise hand feature. We'll just give that a a little bit of time to see if anybody indicates. Okay, I'm not seeing anything. Uh, any last questions or comments? Okay. As there is no further discussion, this application will be forwarded to a future council meeting for further consideration. Okay, thank you, Ron. Thank you. We'll see you in the 
future files here today. Good chance. Okay. All right, our next zoning bylaw amendment. Oh, um, Mayor McQueen, you're going to um, declare. I will be declaring on this file. It's adjacent to my farm. And so I'm going to excuse myself from this uh, part of the public meeting. Okay, thank you. Okay, the next zoning bylaw amendment is file Z41-2022, Statlander. The um, registered owners are Michael and um, Nobuyo Statlander. The location is lot 29, concession 11, Osprey in Gray Islands, with a civic address of 449357, 10th concession. The notice of this public meeting was mailed by Standard Mail on December 14th, 2022, to the property owner and to all property owners within 120 meters of the subject property in addition to all agencies and persons identified in the Planning Act. At this time, we will hear a presentation by the applicant or their agent. And is there somebody here representing this file? Okay, I see somebody's being moved over. Can everybody hear me? Yes, we can. Good evening. My name is Vaishnan Mohantan, and I'm the junior land use planner with Cuesta Planning Consultants, here representing the applicant Christoph Statlander with respect to zoning bylaw amendment application Z41 2022. So the subject property is located on 10th concession in the former township of Osprey. It's a 40 hectare parcel and is presently used as a hobby farm by the applicant's parents, who are the registered owners. There are a number of structures on the property, including a single detached dwelling, a barn and some outbuildings. The subject lands also contain natural heritage features in the form of woodlands, wetlands and a pond. On January 10th, the Committee of Adjustment granted a consent that was submitted in conjunction with the zoning bylaw amendment, which sought the severance of a two and a half hectare parcel in the southwestern corner of the subject lands. Uh, this portion of the property is currently vacant and its applicant's intention to establish a residence on the proposed law. One of the conditions of approval of that granted consent was that the zoning bylaw amendment being heard today be approved by council. So the purpose of the zoning bylaw amendment is to rezone the severed lot to a rural residential zone, remove the holding provision placed on the front yard, require that a minimum distance separation be calculated prior to the issuance of a building permit, and that a 20 meter side yard setback be required. So the reason uh, for the change in the zone is that the subject lands are currently zoned as rural and that since it's the applicant's intention to use a new lot as a residential lot, uh, the appropriate zone change would be for rural residential. The reason for the holding provision, which is being removed, is that the severed lot is across the Rob Roy Swamp, which is a provincially significant wetland. And we have re received confirmation from the Conservation Authority that they have no issues with the proposed severance, it will not be in conflict with the wetland and that it's supportable as long as a specific building envelope is outlined on the, the site plan, as, as shown on the site plan. And as mentioned, the retained parcel uh, contains a livestock facility and to ensure compliance between uh, a new residential building and the barn, MDS calculations should be provided uh, that ensure sufficient setback from the barn. And lastly, the, the 20 meter side yard setback is required to ensure that there's um, sufficient buffering from the woodlands to the west. Overall, the proposed zoning bylaw amendment meets the intent of the county and municipal official plans and is not out of character with the surrounding area and has not raised any concerns from the county or the conservation authority. And that we find that the proposed zoning bylaw amendment represents good planning and be considered favorably. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. We will now have the municipal planner advise of any comments received and we'll provide an overview of the purpose and effect of the bylaw. Planner Rapke. Mr. Chair, as Vaishnan mentioned, uh, the scope of the amendment is just to rezone the lot to rural residential with some site specific provisions. The hold will, re will be removed 
the 20 meter side yard setback will be applied to effectively make sure that building envelope is enforced without actually drawing the envelope as a picture and to ensure that MDS is applied. So that makes the envelope get enforced from the other direction. So that envelope ends up being there, but through words rather than through a specific picture. In terms of comments received, the county uh, noted, provided the dwelling is constructed in the area outlined on the site plan. County planning staff have no concerns. Grace Alba Conservation Authority's summary of their comments is that, in their opinion, the proposed severance can proceed and this, it supports the location proposed for the dwelling as generally indicated on the provided site plan. None of our internal departments had any concerns and we received no comments from the public. Okay, thank you. Are there any questions or comments from members of council? Okay, I'm not seeing anything. Any person present who would like to make a submission in support of or opposition to this application or, or have any questions or comments about this application, please indicate and state your name and address. And um, if you are on a phone and you want to speak, it's star nine to raise your hand and the raise hand feature on the computer. Just give this a 30 seconds or so, just to make sure nobody's wanting to speak. Okay, I'm not seeing anything. So last um, chance for comments, Councillor Allwood, no? Okay, as there's no further discussion, this application will be forwarded to a future council meeting for further consideration. Thank you very much for attending. Thank you. Okay, our next zoning bylaw amendment is file Z42-2022. Registered owners are Mark and Ann Menard, and the location is Lot 13, Concession 13, Osprey, except Part 1, 16R10618 in Gray Highlands, and it has a civic address of 468109, 12th Concession B. The notice of this public meeting was mailed by standard mail on December 14th, 2022 to the property owner and to all property owners within 120 meters of the subject property, in addition to all agencies and persons identified in the Planning Act. At this time, we will hear a presentation by the applicant or their agent. So there's somebody here representing this file. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Chair, can, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Good evening, Andrew. My name is Andrew Pescuzo. I'm a registered professional planner. I'm here tonight on behalf of Sean and Jill Landry, as well as Mark and Ann Menard, who are adjacent property owners indicated on the address already identified. Uh, so this proposal was also at the Committee of Adjustment earlier this month uh, and was conditionally approved as well. Uh, just a reminder that, uh, just a reminder and clarification for those who weren't involved that no new lots are being proposed. Uh, basically, this is just a boundary adjustment where a two hectare portion of land indicated in red in the, in the image in front of us is being added to the two hectare existing lot currently zoned rural residential. Uh, and as a uh, condition of the, the, the already approved consent, uh, we have to rezone those lands in red from the currently zoned rural to a the rural residential zone. The lands that uh, are being boundary adjusted are currently vacant and there are no new buildings or structures uh, being proposed. Uh, that's uh, my comment. Um, happy to answer any questions. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay, thank you. 
We'll now have the municipal planner advise of any comments received and we'll provide an overview of the purpose and effect of the bylaw. And Planner Pasha, please. Thank you. Um, so it's exactly as Andrew has stated, the se sever proposed severed portion that uh, was con being conducted earlier this month uh, is being rezoned to RUR. Um, and is a condition of that severance for this zoning amendment to be completed prior to the consent being uh, finished and completed and, gr and granted. Um, now, in regards to comments received, it, it is similar to uh, comments received for the consent application. Uh, Gray County Planning Staff has stated that um, so, uh, so long as they, they receive positive comments from Conservation Authority regarding the significant woodlands and streams, um, they have no concerns with the subject application. GSC has no objections to the proposal for the described uh, zoning amendment application as it does not impact on natural hazards or natural heritage features. And lastly, Gray Highlands Transportation, Environmental uh, Emergency and Building Services has stated that they have no concerns. Okay, thank you. Are there any questions or comments from council for our planner or the agent? Okay, I'm not seeing anything. Any person present who would like to make a submission in support of or opposition to this application or have any questions or comments about this application, please indicate and state your name and address. And uh, on a phone, you can hit um, star nine to raise your hand. And on a computer, you're the raise hand feature. Just wait a little bit to make sure. Okay, I'm not seeing anything. Any last questions or comments from council members? No? Okay, as there's no further discussion, this application will be forwarded to a future council meeting for further consideration. Thank you, Andrew. Good night. Okay, our next zoning bylaw amendment is file Z44-2022. The registered owners are Douglas Parker and Valga Kelv. And the Location is part lot five, concession two, Euphrasia, except part one, 16R4243, Gray Highlands, part lot five, concession two, Euphrasia, part one, 16R4243, and the civic addresses are 315299, third line A, and 315291, third line A. The notice of this public meeting was mailed by Standard Mail on December 14th, 2022 to the property owner and to all property owners within 120 meters of the subject property, in addition to all agencies and persons identified in the Planning Act. At this time, we will hear a presentation by the applicant or their agent. Is there somebody representing this file? Jessica. Yes. Hi. Sorry. Good evening. Um, good evening. Um, so yeah, I, I'm um, speaking for this file. I'm um, I'm looking to amend the zoning bylaw to rezone the Arnett property from rural to rural residential and to rezone um, those lands that are the subject of B twenty nine two zero two two from rural to rural residential. Um, with the holding symbol R-U-R-H to facilitate the consent. Um, so that was all I'd really prepared to say. Um, okay. I wasn't sure if there were any other comments I had to make in regards to this. That's fine. We'll, have, uh, we'll now have a, the, our municipal planner advise of any comments received and we'll provide an overview of the purpose and the effect of the um, bylaw, and then we'll go to, to questions. 
So Planner Pasha, please. Yes, similar to the previous application, um, this application is a lot line adjustment. A consent uh, application was conducted in the Committee of Adjustment meeting earlier this month. Um, essentially, the proposal is to rezone uh, the severed, uh, the proposed severed portion of the property, as well as uh, Je uh, Jessica Wood's uh, property to rural residential to facilitate the smaller lot size. Um, basically, it will better uh, apl uh, apply to the conditions of the site. And the holding provision is, is placed in there for the karst that is available, that is currently present on the property. Now, in terms of comments received, uh, Gray Highland, um, similar to uh, its previous consent file, Gray County planning staff have stated that so long as there's positive comments from conservation authority, they have no concerns with the subject, subject application. GSCA has no objections to the proposal so long as a hold is placed on that karst area. And Gray Highland's transportation, environmental services, emergency services, and building services have stated no concerns. Okay, thank you. Are there any questions or comments from Council? Okay, seeing none. Any person present who would like to make a submission in support of or opposition to this application or have any questions or comments about this application, please indicate, state your name and address. And again, on a phone, it's star nine to raise your hand or the raise hand feature on computer. Okay, I'm not seeing anything from the public. Any last questions or comments from council? No. Okay, as there's no further discussion, this application will be forwarded to a future council meeting for further consideration. Thank you, Jessica, for attending. Thank you. Okay, our next zoning bylaw amendment is file Z45-2022. The registered owner is Scarlet Ridge Enterprises Incorporated. And the uh, legal description is part lot 24, concession nine, Euphrasia, as in R272114ST, with a civic number or address of 136. 532 Gray Road 4. The notice of this public meeting was mailed by Standard Mail on December 14th, 2022, to the property owner and to all property owners within 120 meters of the subject property, in addition to all agencies and persons identified in the Planning Act. At this time, we will hear a presentation by the applicant or their agent. Is there somebody representing this? file. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Hello, it's Solomon Martin. Hi, Solomon. Hello. Um, I am representing this, I guess. Um, this proposal is for a zoning bylaw amendment to permit another use on this agricultural designation. The zoning amendment is to allow for an on-farm shop to supplement the farming income. Um, which will be a beef farm. And they were also planning to build a pig barn, but I guess in respect to neighbor concerns, they did not decide to carry on with that. So this C4 shop is set back 160 meters from the road and will be screened by coniferous trees. There will be a small 45, 93 square meter patch zone to permit this use with which is approximately one acre. This shop would be placed in close proximity with the other farm buildings and will use the same truck yard as the existing barn. This shop is expected to be doing woodworking and furniture building and traffic is expected to be very minor. Um, I don't have anything else to say. Okay, thank you for that. We'll now have our municipal planner advise of any comments received and we'll provide an overview of the purpose and effect of the 
bylaw, minor passion. Um, so as uh, Solomon has stated, essentially this proposal is for a C4 rezoning uh, application to permit an on-farm diversified use. The OFD will involve a 250 square meter drive manufacturing shop, which will revolve around woodworking, furniture building, and the assembly of garden sheds. Um, essentially, we will be giving this uh, a C4-437 exception uh, number, which will permit these specific uses in terms of the woodworking and the garden shed uh, building. In terms of comments received, uh, Gray County Planning has stated that provided D6 guidelines, which refer to noise uh, within a 70 meter radius, uh, can be addressed and the daylight, a daylight triangle is provided. County planning staff have no further concerns. Gray Sobble Conservation Authority has stated that no objections to the proposal for the described zoning bylaw amendment application as it does not impact any natural hazards or natural heritage features. Gray Highland Building has stated that the applicant is advised that as part of a building permit application, a building matrix along with the full equipment layout, including types of materials and chemicals that are stored within the building are required. All construction must conform to the requirements of the OMB and all applicable law in place at the time of the permit submission. Gray Highlands Transportation has no concerns and Gray Highlands Fire Emergency Services uh, require one final uh, uh, site visit once final occupancy has been granted. Gray Highlands Environmental Services has no concerns. Okay, thank you. Are there any questions or comments from members of council? Okay, seeing nothing. Any person present who would like to make a submission in support of or opposition to this application or have any questions or comments about this application, please indicate and state your name and address. Is there anybody wishing to speak? Star nine on your phone to raise your hand or the raise hand feature on the computer. Okay, I'm not seeing anything. Last comments or questions, Councillor Allwood. Uh, thank you, Chair Allen. I noticed there's a requirement for a 50-foot uh, daylight corner on the uh, entrance. So that dial uh, daylight triangle will have to be provided? Yes. yes, um, yes. The county will be taking a portion of that corner. As part of the deal, uh, as part of the site plan condition. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Okay, seeing none. As there's no further discussion, this application will be forwarded to a future council meeting for further consideration. Thank you, Solomon. Thank you. Okay, our next zoning bylaw amendment is file Z46-2022, the registered owner is Max Cut Manufacturing Incorporated, and the legal description is part lot 21 and 22, concession 5, Osprey, being part 1, um, I'm assuming that's part, being PRT 1, Plan 16R10975 Gray Highlands. And it has a civic address of 553881 Road 55. The notice of this public meeting was mailed by Standard Mail on December 14th, 2022, to the property owner and to all property owners within 120 meters of the subject property, in addition to all agencies and persons identified in the Planning Act. We, at this time, we will hear a presentation by the applicant or their agent. And can you hear me? Yes, we can. This is uh, Elias Bauman, the owner of uh, Mexico Manufacturing. Okay. This zoning amendment is to allow for an on-farm shop 
to supplement the farming income to su and to support the family farm of which will be sheep farming operation. This C4 shop is set back 84.76 meters from the road and will be screened by continuous trees spaced approximately three meters apart. There will be a small 4593 square meter patch rezoned to, to permit this use, which is approximately one acre. This shop would be placed in close proximity with other farm buildings and will use the same truck yard as the existing yard, barnyard. This shop is expected to be doing woodworking and furniture building and traffic is expected to be very minor. Trucks are expected to be approximately two trucks daily. The owner is seeking to permit up to five employees, but would be starting off with just the owner and his sons. But if the business grows, there would be opportunity of employment within the community. There is some proposed outdoor storage, but at this time there is not expected to be much of this because for furniture building, everything needs to be stored indoors. MDS calculations have all been met. This proposal conforms with PPS 2020 and all county and multiple politics. That's everything. Okay, thank you. Um, I do have a question, but I'll wait till after our municipal planner advises of any comments received and he will provide an overview of the purpose and the effect of the bylaw. Planner Pasha. All right, so as the applicant has stated, um, essentially uh, the OFDU, if the proposal is to rezone the property to C4, uh, to permit an OFDU, the OFDU will revolve around a 250 square meter uh, shop that will involve dry manufacturing in terms of uh, woodworking operation. Um, there is, the property is to be rezoned C4 with the exception number 367. Um, this will permit the use to be, uh, the C4 uh, or the structure to be placed at a minimum of 41 meters from the front lot line rather than the required 55 meters. Um, just as a correction, um, from what the applicant has stated, this, uh, the building, the structure is going to be approximately 48 meters rather than 84 meters from that the front lot question. line. That was my question. That was yeah. my question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, um, usually in a C4 designated zone, a shop is supposed to be placed at a minimum of 55 meters from the front lot line, which is why uh, the need for a reduced front yard, uh, front lot line setback. Um, and in terms of and that's for the overview. In terms of comments received, um, Gray uh, from Gray Highlands County provided D6 guidelines can be addressed and that positive comments are received from the Conservation Authority. County planning staff has no further concerns. Gray Solid Conservation Authority has stated that they have no objections to the proposal for the described zoning bylaw amendment application as it does not impact any natural hazards or natural heritage features. Uh, Gray Highlands Building has stated that the applicant is to be advised that as part of the building permit application, a building matrix along with the full equipment layout, including types of materials and chemicals that are stored within the building are required. All construction must conform to the requirements of the Ontario Building Code and all applicable law in place at the time of the permit submission. Gray Highlands Transportation and Gray Highlands Environmental Services have stated that they have no comments and Gray Highlands Fire and Emergencies, Emergency Services request a site visit once final occupancy has been granted. Okay, thank you. Are there any questions or comments from council? Okay, not seeing anything. Any person present who would like to make a submission in support of or opposition to this application or have any questions or comments about this application, please indicate, state your name, and address. And again, on a phone, it's star nine to raise your hand and the raise hand feature on the computer. And there is nobody else in attendance, but I will just wait just, just to make sure. Okay, I'm not seeing anybody. Any last questions or comments from members? All right, as there's no further discussion, this application will be forwarded 
to a future council meeting for further consideration. So thank you um, for representing this file. And I am going to declare this meeting adjourned at 5.39 p.m. Thank you, uh, members. Thanks, Mayor McQueen, for taking some time from the, the conference. And thank you, staff. I think that worked well. Um, yeah. Okay. Good night, everybody. Good job, Mr.